Not a YouTuber. Just like giving out my opinion. You know, and a lot of us are familiar with the movie, uh, uh, um, The Monster's Ball. Now, a, a film starring Billy Bob Thornton, Holly Berry, Sean Combs, Most Deaf. You know, people forget Most Deaf was in that movie. And some other people, you know, that's, you know, but that's not important. You know, I shouldn't have to go over the premise of the film, but I feel that it is relevant to the topic at hand. You know, you have Holly Berry there. You know, and her baby's father, Sean Combs, was in jail. Now, not just jail, death row. And she w and Holly Berry is a single mother in dire straits. You know, and then you have what is a useless black man who's a thug, a criminal. You know, that's why they're about to put him inside that electric chair. He's a monster. And, um, and even though I admit they tried to give Sean Combs' character some depth, you know, by you know making him an artist or whatever. And regardless, Holly Berry was a, a supportive black woman, even though black woman, even though her man was uh, about to be tossed in that uh, frying pan. You know, then you ha you had Billy Bob Thornton, who's a stone cold racist, and then. He turns over a new leaf because he starts to get some black nookie. He becomes her knight in shining armor. He rescues her. And then you see uh, Holly Bird, her son in the movie is a klutz, is a nincompoop, a glutton who gets hit by a car. You know, so therefore Holly Berry's it. She's in complete dire straits. You know, her her son is dead. Her baby father's dead. You know, supposedly she has no prospects, no money, no nothing. And then here comes the white man. And um, and then she becomes. She's grateful. See, the white man is just being a good Samaritan. And she is grateful, very grateful. So grateful that she flings herself at him. <laughs> you know, she dang near rapes him in that movie, you know. And the movie was complete hodgepodge. And, you know, and I think Holly Berry won an uh, Oscar for that role. And, um, you know, and so therefore, you see where I'm getting at. Now we know realistically that a lot of times when we help women, even to the level of Billy Bob Thornton did, the, the, the Holly Berry, that a lot of times women would just put us in that friend zone, you know. <laughs> that we're 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 we we're, we're, we're just good friends because they need us all oh, wow, This dude, he's gonna give me a place to stay and, and things of that nature. You know, I don't want to have a relationship with shit with him. It, it'll ruin it. You know, I just rather be his friend, friend and so forth. You know, and um, but we know realistically, us black men in real life, somebody who looks as good as Holly Berry, you know, wouldn't have any problem <laughs> getting black male attention. You know, they would have been like, you know what I'm saying, when uh, her baby father's in jail, you know, on death row, they would have been like, let me be your son's daddy. Because we know there's plenty of single mothers in the so-called black community that's able to find a man. Matter of fact, a lot of black men uh, uh, protest against it, you know. Why raise another man's son, uh, another man's seed, you know, and so forth, you know. And let's say, let's say you agree with me, but you know, Holly Berry is exceptionally beautiful, you know. And, and there's no way someone who looks like Holly Berry would be completely assed out. Man, she would have all kind of friends and, and cousins or whatever to help them out, just like a lot of black women do. I'm like, fat, you know, they, they have fat, they got, they have to have family. Gotta have some sort of friends, you know, friends that will 
hook them up with, uh, you know, other men and things of that nature. But let's say, because in the movie Monsters Ball, they were, they originally wanted to use Angela Bassett. Let's say someone who looks like Angela Bassett. Chocolate skin black woman who's a single mother. You know, men are, men are in jail still. Men will be knocking on that door. You know what I'm saying? L let me be a father to your son. You know, because I see women on Facebook posting pictures of their kids, single black women. Posting pictures of their kids, you know what I'm saying, sometimes having two or three children, and dudes are still salivating over them, you know, giving them attention, being thirsty, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, but that movie, uh, uh, Monsters Ball, you know what I'm saying, there is an interesting narrative, because Holly Berry was a supporter of black women, woman, a supporter of black woman, and she's in complete destitute. You know, and she must be grateful, grateful that a white man finds interest in them. That a white man will, will want to be uh, uh, their savior, will take them in, you know what I mean, will provide for them, you know. And, and no female should have to put themselves at the mercy of a man. Especially a black female to a white man, you know, and and trust me, the um, when it comes to white men, you know, black women wear their insecurities on on their sleeve. See, us black men, you know, we see all sides and all angles of the black woman, but it's funny that they're going to project themselves a certain way when it comes to other races of men, that they're very humble, that they're very supportive. And I'm not saying there aren't black women like this, but uh, we, we gotta, you know what I'm saying, we gotta recognize what's real here. And so a white man is gonna get the impression that, you know, that, uh, you know what I mean, that black women will thrust themselves at them and that black women must be grateful must be gracious that a white man is paying them attention you know like oh and the black female she has no other options you know and that's the thing see the black women like to say that us black men are running around saying that they are undesirable and so forth that we're the ones doing that you know and that white men really love them but white men are actually uh, projecting this image that nobody wants the black female so the black female should you know what i'm saying should be grateful that a white man will pay them attention and say to the black women where are you going to go are you going to go back to that talking gorilla you consider a man who's swinging from power line to power line, you know, and, and that's the thing, and then, you know what I'm saying, how that movie Monster Ball, how, how is it, uh, it, 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 it represents the fantasy of a white man, first of all, white men also, um, uh, um, uh, contribute to the concept of colorism, you know, black females will say that white men the uh, white men don't care about shades. They like all shades of black women. That's a complete lie. Then why has Holly Berry gotten so many movie roles? You know, because she's mixed. And then you have, uh, what, what was it? Uh, what's that? Ray Dong Chong, who got a lot of, who got, who started a lot of movies in the 80s, along with movies with Mickey Rourke and um, Sylvester, uh, not, not Sylvester, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Commando. And you also had Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams was considered the first black Miss America. How, how did she get that? You know, I'm like, Vanessa Williams dang near looks white. She got green eyes and light skin. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure there wasn't that many black judges. <laughs> you know, to, to you, you see what I mean. So therefore, the white man, he's in a good position right now. You know, because supposedly he's innocent and things of that nature. And black females will believe 
anything he says, anything that he utters out of his pie hole, black women will take it as gold. You know, as us black men, you know, we're looked at, we're the bad guys. We're looked at, wool, at wolves, you know what I mean, as just a, a hustlers. And we're trying to pimp the black woman. You know, she is a damsel in distress. And you got this big, bad black man, you know. And people don't understand that. You know what I mean? They don't understand exactly what's going on. And you have Jacob. Uh, what was it? Jacob Forrest Gump Mason. You know, who is Billy Bob Thornton. And, um... This came out of Jacob, so I don't want to spend too much time on him because I'm just talking about, you know what I'm saying, uh, things from a broader perspective. But he stated out of his own mouth that black women are looking at him like white Jesus and looking at him as their savior. I'm not saying that he wants that title, but why would he get that impression? Why would, you know, a 22-year-old white dude who probably sits around and plays video games all day and probably trying to get money out of black women so he can buy more video games and so forth who's using his European features his blue eyes you know what I mean to get black women salivating over him and it is a complete embarrassment and black women do not know how bad they look. They do not know how insecure they look. You know what I'm saying? And their vulnerability is manifested. You know? And the thing is, you might say, oh, I'm just jealous. I'm a hating black man and so forth. Yeah. But if the roles were reversed, you know, if there was some white female, uh, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, propping, propping up her baby blues, and you have all these black men tripping over her. Yes, I will say something about the. I would say something about these black men. I'll make a video. Matter of fact, there's been a couple of dudes on YouTube, people like Cadillac Gaddafi, who have made videos putting white women on a pedestal and um, berating black women. And I've made videos against them when John Logica. John Legista or whatever he calls himself. I'm like, when he made a video when he seemed like he was up upping his white white women over black women and so forth, he lost a lot of credibility. And a lot of people, you know what I mean, <laughs> made videos. But when a black woman, black woman put a white man on a pedestal, talk about how great white men are. You know, I mean, these same black females don't step up. They don't say, hey, wait a minute. You're disrespecting our kids. You know, <laughs> I'm going to get you. So, no, no. So, yeah, there is a big double standard. And us black men are being uh, played for a fool. But going into Monsters Ball. And the thing is... Uh, black men and black female relationships aren't so scarce like you know like like they just don't happen no I, I've I've seen a quite a few but black women will you know have this narrative that oh they've been sitting around patiently waiting for black men to get their shit together and they have to move on and I'll and I tell you this one particular um, it was a, a friend of mine a friend of a friend you know, she married a white guy, but they got into a divorce because the white guy wouldn't come around her family at all. No family events. Not only that, he barely brought her around his family. You know, and she found that that's funny, you know, and uh, and also he, he was, you know, barely home. I don't know. And that's the thing, and I go into Monsters Ball, and you know, the white man's fantasy of the black woman. Um, the, you know what I'm saying? Because the white man wants the black woman all, all, all to himself. You know what I mean? He doesn't want all this attachments, family, kids, all that other stuff. Black women have to become a recluse. You know, a hermit. You know, a introvert. You know, <laughs> so therefore they got to have like almost like this quiet 
isolated relationship. You know, now I'm, I, this this is not true on, on on all fronts or whatever. I'm just I admit I'm generalizing, but there is some truth to it. You know, because when I see black men, black females, you know, I mean, it seems like no, 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 white men and black females seems like they're they're quiet like church mouse. You know, what I'm saying when they're in public, you just see them off off in some sort of dark corner someplace. You know, and, and going into that movie Monsters Ball, I think that's that's how how it is. The white man wants the black female, not it, not anything attached to it. You know, and kind of like this uh, uh, boxing Hel Helena type relationship. You know, if you ever seen that movie Boxing uh, Helena and so forth, and that the white female, I mean the black woman, has to be dang near very appreciative and at his mercy like you got nowhere else to go <laughs> you know what I mean where are you gonna go are you gonna go back to that zoo that you consider the black community and so forth you know and that's the thing and what black women have done uh, uh, in the company of white men you know how they have ran to the white man you know uh, 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 and give them their testimony about how horrible black men is about how a black man called them ugly a black man uh, uh, didn't like them because of their skin tone and so forth and then the white man is, is sitting there like <laughs> and so forth it's a big joke you know because I read racist comments all the time you know and the funny thing is when I see these uh, videos of white women exclaiming their love for black men I look at the comment section and there is a bunch of racist vitriol you know go to any of those videos you know what I mean um you know what I'm saying um I want you to but go to those videos read the comment section of white women you know, saying that they love black men you have white men saying stuff like you're gonna wreck your life you're gonna end up barefoot and pregnant you're gonna end up with AIDS and so forth and you know in one of my other videos I talked about Tyro Magnus girlfriend what well, uh, her, her, sir her channel Sarah and even though Big JXX reminded me that she's no longer with uh, Tyrone Magnus okay that's not the point but her video got a lot of negative downvotes a lot of racist brickbat in the comment section but when a white man proclaims how he likes black women you know you don't he doesn't get that many downvotes you don't see black men coming into the comment section and saying uh, this cave beast this Neanderthal this crow magnon you know and so forth and you know he, he's gonna try to uh, he, he's <laughs> he's a serial killer he's gonna try to trick black women and so forth no no and so therefore if the white man is going to be the black woman's savior then you know what I'm saying why, why is he so racist you know and things of that nature but I know what it is it's maybe maybe some black women feel that they can make these racist black white men because we know that there are stories of racist white men who are neo-nazis getting black women maybe they'll be like hey you know what I mean if I down my black man if I cut myself off from other black people and things of that nature maybe I can make them turn over a new leaf I give them pussy you know what I mean I'll talk about how horrible black men are you know to his pleasure I won't hang around my black friends or my bring my black family so therefore he'll just have me all by myself and maybe I can turn this racist white man and make him love me you know that could be it you know monsters ball part two thanks for watching never stop learning